What is going on, guys? My name is Tubby Emu. I want to talk WWE 2K14 DLC. Now, they haven't announced it yet, uh, but I've been seeing a lot of backlash uh, from people that are pissed off about guys not being in the game, mainly Curtis Axel, uh, Fandango, uh, RVD, The Usos, uh, among others. And I want to talk about my feelings specifically and what I think about it. And if you guys agree, make sure to pound that like button if you guys could. And uh, potentially share the video. Now, one of the things that I was really irked off about was I was looking at the roster. And for the most part, I understood why the guys that were there were there. The guys that weren't, weren't. Um, as much as I would love an NXT mode, I know WWE would never approve an NXT uh, in, in the game for developmental talent. One, because they'd have to pay them. But uh, two, that the likenesses could change at any time. They don't keep the same characters before they get called up to WWE. So if they put them in the game, you know, that's one thing. Uh, another thing is guys being pissed off, like why RVD and Curtis Axel aren't in the game. You know, there used to be Michael McGillicuddy, just reskin him. Yeah, you could. Uh, but here's the thing. Curtis Axel debuted after the developmental cycle was already at that cutoff point for new characters and new skins. Um, you know, and I was really happy that the shield got announced. I was really hoping they'd be in the game. And I thought if that, if they would, uh, debut, cause they debuted last year that had they not, you know, been here, they would have gone on and, you know, potentially not been in the game or they would have been DLC. And I would have been really upset with that. Well, here's the case where you have, um, one reason why I'm really pissed off is the Usos were DLC last year, and they are not announced for the main game this year. That I have a problem with. I don't have a problem with guys like RVD, Fandango, and Curtis Axel not being in the game yet because they are newer this year. I can't fault uh, you know the old THQ or Ukes for that. You know, and WWE didn't approve them, and you know that is who the, all these characters are who they went with from the start. So you really can't blame them for RVD, Fandango, Curtis Axel. They could all be DLC. But guys that have been in the game, um, if, especially if they've had a TV presence, should definitely be in the game. The Usos. Uh, I, I, like, I would like to see Tyson Kidd in the game, but I understand why Tyson Kidd isn't in the game. He's been gone, guys, for her, over a year now. He's been gone for a year, uh, and it makes perfect sense why he's not in the game. Guys like him, Ted DiBiase Jr., if they're not being featured on TV... I don't have a problem with him not being in the game like Yoshi Tatsu. But guys that are on TV, like the Usos, kind of irritate me that they're not in the game yet. And if they're going to be DLC, I'll be disappointed. I think that if you're DLC in a prior year's game, you should already be announced. Just like Drew McIntyre is. So, let me know what you guys think of the DLC. Uh, who are you happy about? Who do you want to see as DLC? Who are you mad at that didn't make the game? Let me know in the comment section below. But until next time, my name is Tubby Moe. We'll see you all later.